Wagwan beautiful people welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to attempt to make my own lace tint so the hair that I'll be using today is from yowigs.com and they sent me this platinum sis this really blonde wig I have done a tutorial before with a wig this same color um, it was longer so I am trying to make sure that I get the lace to be as natural as I can possibly get it to be but however I'm going to attempt to do this by creating my own lace tint so I'll be using the Adore um, 48 and I watched a tutorial on how to do this and they said to add salt to the hair dye so I'm adding the salt and then I'm going to add warm water and then I'm going to mix it all together I've been trying to watch YouTube videos all day on how to create your own lace tint so that the hair doesn't look too crazy so I'm just stirring that around and you want to get a um, spray bottle but not a regular spray bottle you want a mist spray bottle so I'm just showing you guys how the lace is looking I just cut a little piece of the lace from off the wig and I'm going to dip it into the solution that I created just to see how dark I want it to be so that it could match my the complexion of my skin so I just put it in there for like maybe 45 seconds and this is how it's looking so far so I'm just going to do a side-by-side -side, um, picture for you guys to see how it looks and it's pretty good so far now they said the salt is for the color to stick I believe I don't know to be honest I don't know what the salt was for but as I said sis I'm trying to do this okay so now guys um, I bought a misting spray bottle I don't know where it was I couldn't find it so I used my NYX um, spray bottle there was no it was finished the setting spray was finished so I try to use a bottle now this part of the tutorial I don't know what I was doing like I'm like yo this is not how I seen them girls do it in their YouTube videos like I didn't even see anyone actually spray the the thing onto their lace so I was a little bit confused like this is so wet like this is gonna seep through the hair a little bit got on the roots but it turned out to be really fine in the end it actually turned out pretty well so this is how it's looking I mean I could have gotten a little bit darker you could also add a shade darker just mix it to how will how it would suit you so this is how it's looking I was a little bit scared because I'm like yo the roots don't look that great but in the end I worked it I made it work sis like I didn't even add makeup to it I didn't do any extra anything um, yeah I just used my usual technique to melt the lace into my skin um, you guys can watch a video on how I um, melt my lace frontals and that's basically it now I'm just gonna shape up the hair to how I want it and then I'm going to flat iron the hair and complete the styling
Okay guys, now that I have flat ironed the hair and style it how I would like, this is the end of the tutorial. All the details for this hair will be down in the description box below. To be honest, I'm just gonna buy a lace tint for the next time I do a wig like this because this, I just want to make sure that I get the best product possible so I attempted to make my own lace tint I'm not sure if it even worked but I feel like this blonde wig came out better than my last one so I'm really proud of myself for that but sis like I'm just gonna buy some lace tint that's it that's that on that <laughs> and that is all that I have for you guys today you can follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter at damn that chef I'll catch y'all in my next video go on big up on yourself bye guys